What up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, today's a very special day because we got a new toy. And I know I haven't posted a while on my YouTube channel. I know, I don't post a lot of videos. I'm mostly shorts. Haven't even posted on shorts in a while, but it's fine. Because I'm going to try to post a lot more often and build my empire. Speaking of empire, go follow my Instagram and TikTok. Please get those uh, followers up. So yeah, go follow my uh, other, like, I don't know, channels. Go follow my social medias. So yes, I haven't posted in a while. I know, I'm sorry. I mostly post fishing. Well, today that changes. We have a new toy. By the title and thumbnail, I'm sure y'all already know what it is. But I got a new bow. Now, y'all are probably saying, well, Jet, you had a bow? You did archery? Yes. Yes, I did. I just never posted because I suck, I guess. So, yeah. We got a new toy. And let's just jump into it. This is my new bow. This is the Hoyt RX-7 Ultra. And yeah, she's pretty. So this is my new bow. Uh, I know I've never really posted about my bows, but I thought to you, or I thought, and I was like, why not come back for the banger video? So today I'm gonna be going over my new bow and then we're gonna shoot it at the end. So let's get into it. All right, so First off, we're going to start with the specs. So this is Hoyt's Carbon line. This is their flagship uh, line. Uh, the Ultra or the RX-7s are their carbon bows for right now. Uh, this is the Ultra. And some of y'all are like, I've heard of the RX-7. What's the RX-7 Ultra? So Hoyt has two carbon bows. They have the RX-7, RX-7 Ultra. RX-7 is your typical bow. It's just like this. It's just at... 30 inches in length axle to axle and uh great bow great for the average sized person uh i'm not and for anyone who's like me uh you want to go with the ultra it's a 34 axle to axle and it just has longer draw length it's much more suitable for someone who's tall or just has a long wide uh wingspan so there's the difference for people who didn't know. Now for the spec specs. So first off, these are Hoyt's uh, HPX uh, cams. Amazing cams, probably the smoothest, uh, smoothest bow I've ever shot for sure. Uh, the cams make it really easy. What I like about Hoyt is that they stack all their weight up front so you can uh, have more poundage. If you shoot Matthews, they're, uh, if you're drawing back, throw weight. It's like, oh, this is easy. And then you're like, ugh. With the Hoyt, it's just, ugh. Boom. And that's why I really like the Hoyt. Because they stack all their way up front. And I shoot heavier draw uh, draw weight. Because my last bow was a Bowtech Amplify. And I shot it about 55 pounds. This is at 60 pounds. And just like Hoyt said, you normally shoot 50 uh, or 50, five pounds heavier, so it's pretty accurate. Next up, um, the riser, it's their, I'm pretty sure the first version of the RX-7 came out in 2020 or 2021. Uh, they just came out with, like, the 2022 or 23 model. It just has two new, uh, colors. It's, like, Raptor something in bourbon. It's, like, buckskin that I have just darker like a dark coffee I guess not dark coffee but a cream coffee if you ever put creamer in your coffee um it's brace height is seven inches um it shoots if I remember correctly 334 fps I'm gonna I'll pop up a picture of the specs um it's a great though I love it I like the 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 string angle I just like how it all works together um yeah so now let's get into my accessories all right now for accessories I'll start off with my sights so I shoot a fast eddy spot hog or a spot hog fast eddy extra long bar 
it's a vertical two pin you can see that vertical two pin so let's say all right so right now i'm set to 20. that bottom pin is going to be 30. so it's it's a great site for whitetail hunting because like if you're if you're someone who likes to mule deer hunt a caribou hunt or elk hunt i want to do a vertical pin because you're going to be changing it up a lot and i just stick with a five pin 20 30 40 and probably i'd go 60 or 70 have a dropper but yeah so extra long bar uh spot hog fast teddy um great site i love it it's easy to work with um cool things with them i don't know if other brands do it but you can actually buy a uv light that lights up your pins in low light situations so yeah that's my site next up um i'll go with my arrow rest so i shoot the hamski trinity hunters pro micro adjust this thing is amazing i couldn't ask for a better rest it's probably the best rest on the market and if you're not if especially for hoy and matthews hunters or users and unless you're going with the integrate i just this is where to go and even then i do this this thing it is amazing next off uh i want to do with what i really like about hoy they're ghost sticks so I know Matthews, y'all have y'all's own version of ghost sticks. It's more like a stand. But the ghost sticks are really cool because they're white. They're carbon. Almost everything on this thing is carbon. But yeah, they're carbon and they're super light and they're easy to pack. Um, you never even really know that they're there. If anything, they kind of help with keeping the bow even more dead in hand than it already is. So that's what I really like about them right now. It's been sitting vertical when I'm shooting. I set it down vertically. When you're in the field, set it down vertically. If you're in a blind, especially a box blind, set it down vertically. Next off, cool, or last but not least, the quiver. So I just shoot Hoyt's one piece uh, short, uh, short quiver. Uh, really nice, I like it. It's also carbon, super light. Uh, hold six arrows. You just uh, screw it on with toy. Come up here. When you buy it, it comes with a little thing. You mount it right here. This little rod. Uh, oh, I'm dumb. Mount it right here. And you screw it on. Oh my god technical foul all right all right you put it on and you just tighten it and then boom you got it and then it comes off <laughs> <laughs> that was not planned all right i think that's it for accessories um yeah, that's it for accessories. I'm gonna do a video soon of every everything I don't, or like that's not in this video, so my rangefinder release. I'll do all my like not bow accessories, um, another video. But yeah, so that's my bow. Now let's get to shooting it. All right, we're at 20 yards. Hope you don't see me. But yeah, let's sink some in. And. Don't judge my form. I know it's kind of bad. This bow's a little heavy. Not heavy, but like heavy and draw. So here we go. All right, walking down the range. All right, not bad, not bad. Uh, this is the general area where I was aiming. Uh, I do need to get my arrows tuned a bit. Uh, this one down here, I was aiming for the heart, but yeah. But uh, yeah, so 
then hit bad uh i'm gonna shoot one at 30 one at 40 and then the video will be over let's go i don't know if y'all don't see me but that's gonna be y'all's angle we're gonna do the first shot will be at 30 next one will be at 40 and we'll see how we do let's get let's go All right, it looks like we're hitting high. I know my 40 was gonna hit high because my backyard is barely 40. Like here, hold on. I was standing right there. So, which means I'm elevated. So it's probably why I was high. Probably should have aimed a little low, but I can't get to 50. So I can't have an accurate shot and if I go anywhere else, it'll be public par property, and I'll probably get pulled over by cops. So, by the way, back to blue. Not dissing on the cops, but just saying. But, yeah, so let's see how we hit. So, like y'all saw, hitting high. I'm not surprised, especially with the 40. I knew that would be high. 30, interesting. Shaking a little bit, so I'm not surprised it kind of went up a little bit. My fault. But, yeah, that's going to do for today's video. Hope y'all like it. Um... Comment down below if y'all can. I don't know if YouTube's still being weird or not. But comment down below if y'all want to see more archery videos. Definitely going to do more, whether y'all like it or not. But if y'all really want me to start doing it, because I'd love to. Or if y'all prefer fishing better. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and if y'all want an amazing bow, if go work hard. And that bow can be yours one day so yeah so thank you guys for watching and come back for another one see y'all